And welcome back to the WHHI Daily News. Dr. J.D. Koch has joined us once again from St. Luke's yes. Anglican Church. Thank you, Robin. It's great to be here. Good great to, to be back. You. Yes. This is February and ending your sixth month as the, the rector of St. Luke's. It's been quite a, quite a journey. Uh, <laughs> lots of exciting things, lots of... Uh, Lots of things to do, but it's been a great joy. We've been it, loved it, loved the whole time. And you have been very, very busy, just you know, <laughs> bringing you know Bible study, and the rector's forum, and the whole, really, the whole rebranding our church to yeah. the whole Anglican. That's right. Um, it's been a great joy to be able to sort of educate people a little bit about sort of the worldwide Anglican communion and part right. of the Anglican Church in North America that we've been a part of now for some years, just for a variety mm -hmm. of reasons, haven't fully embrace that and to be able to look at our new logo and our new um, name, the new prayer book and liturgy and just um, really a time of celebration, really yes. just a great time of celebration. And today, actually Tuesday, is called Fat Tuesday and then tomorrow Or Mardi is, Gras, if you're from uh, Baton Rouge. Our, that's right, he's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <laughs> <sighs> and then tomorrow is Ash Wednesday and we'll do the church one of the services of the church. We do. Tomorrow we have three services for Ash Wednesday. And if you've never even grown up with a tradition that uh, observes Ash Wednesday or follows a Lent, uh, then we welcome you to um, come come see what see what it's all about. Uh, 7.30 a.m., uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, and 5.30. Uh, we'll have three opportunities tomorrow to have okay. to celebrate Ash Wednesday. And so Lent is a period of what? Well, Lent, yes, it's a 40-day period. Uh, it's from an old English word, I believe, which simply meant springtime, but the classical name was quadragesima, which means mm -hmm. 40. Mm -hmm. And this was uh, the 40-day observance before Easter that mirrors Jesus' temptation, the 40 days of his own temptation. And so the idea was that you would take um, a, a discrete amount of time and you would spend sort of reflecting and walking, as it were, um, um, sort of along with Jesus towards Good Friday and then obviously Easter morning. And so it was a, it was a season of introspection, of confession, of sort of penitence, not in a maudlin or um, sort of dour sense, but in, a, in an expectant hope that perhaps at the end of this season there would be a, a, a deeper awareness of your, your need for, for the Lord, but also a celebration and a sense of, of, of uh, real gratitude when, when Easter finally arrives. And right. so it's a wonderful uh, season, and I commend uh, you all um, uh, uh, the, as we'll welcome people tomorrow, the observance of a holy Lent, and that's our prayer for, for our right. church. And during the Lenten season, we have something called Hope in the Shadow of the Cross. It is a Lenten speaker series right. that you have put together. Um, we've got the flyer here, but we're also put it up on the screen. So every Wednesday at 11.30 to 1. That's right. And it's going to be at the Crons Fellowship Hall at our church, and it is a community-wide. Yeah, open to the public, yes. sure. And this is a um, fairly common way to... Uh, you know, we want to help facilitate your observance of a Holy Lent. And so if you were wondering what you could add to your life to sort of help mark the season, well, we've got we've got <laughs> just the thing for you. Uh, every Wednesday from 1130 to 1, there will be a, a lunch, a sort of a nice, um, you know, um, uh, uh, soup and salad that's right. by soup truffles. And salad, that's right. Uh, then we'll have a, a noonday prayer, very short noonday prayer service, followed by a, um, a lecture from a variety of speakers that I brought in from around the around North America, at the very least. Um, friends of mine who are who are um, sort of wonderful speakers in their own right, and they will be speaking in general about the theme called "Hope in the Shadow of the Cross." And so we. Um, we're excited about this. And it starts March the 1st. It does. Not this Wednesday, but next. So next Wednesday. Now you've got this whole plethora of speakers, and I I don't want you to pick one, but maybe just share one that you particularly are excited about. I know well, you're excited about I know, all of them. I, hope, I know. Well, I have to say, uh, selfishly, um, the very Reverend Dr. Brian Holland, who's not next Wednesday, but the next on, on March 8th, is the very new and instituted dean of Trinity School for Ministry, which is a seminary that both I went to, I'm on the board of. Of, and the Reverend Greg Kranz, who was the former rector at, uh, at uh, St. Luke's, was also an early um, graduate of. And so we are, we are sort of, he's, he's brand new to the position, and I was excited to have him be one of our first speakers because we get to, uh, to announce him to, to St. Luke's. I mean, I think that's pretty exciting that he's Very coming exciting. down for, our, for this particular event. And great job. I think it's going to be a wonderful series. You, and again, it's open to the community. It begins on March 1st, every Wednesday up until Good Friday. That's right. And then, of course, we have our wonderful Easter service Amen. on, I believe it's April the... <laughs> now you got me. Now you it's got the, me. It's the second Sunday in April. That's so right. So thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank it's you, great JD. to be here. Great it's to be here with you. good to have you with us. And we'll be right back with more of our daily news. Don't go away.